Hey everyone, welcome to Loyalties. This is going to be a very short video and in this video I will be showing you a hidden trait that is present in Laravel which you can also utilize. And the name of the trait is forwards calls. I'll show you how it is being used and then I'll show you its internal content. So now let me go here in the web. I think you already know that we can fetch the user's data like this. We have a user model and let's say where type and here we can say admin like this and we can say get so that will get all the users with the type admin but we can also do like this query we can just call query method on the user and then run this both of these will work and internally laravel is using forwards calls trait in order to make this happen so now let us see that if I just go over here in the user, then it is actually extending authenticable and it now extends the model. Every other models will directly extend the model, but in case of the users, since a user can be authenticated, so it extends that authenticable. Now, if we go here inside this model, and I have already shown you how this thing works, like the query and without query thing, how it works already in my previous video. So you can just watch that or I'll be leaving the link of that video just below that like button. So here, if we just look here in the underscore underscore call method, since that where method does not exist on the model itself. So it will look into this underscore underscore call method. And here this method will be the name of this method, which is where and the parameters will be whatever the parameters passed over here in the array format. Now it will go here, both of these. It will not reach here and it will reach here, okay? And now it is actually calling this forward call to this object, this method and this parameters, okay? This, on this object, it will actually call this method with these parameters and this forward calls to is actually coming from inside this forwards calls. And if I just show you this new query, then you can see here, this is the query and if i just show you this query method only this query and it is actually calling this new query as well so both of them are just calling the same thing and here at the top if i just show you here on the top it is using this forward calls over here and this is this okay if i go here then you can see here this object and if i again take you to this underscore underscore call and here this new query so on this object it is calling this method which i have already told just before and with these parameters if we just do dot 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 and the parameters name then this array will be actually converted to the parameters suppose let's say here inside the parameters we have dollar a comma dollar b inside an array then it will actually pass those as a parameter to this method as a comma b and if that method object or anything that doesn't exist then it will just throw an error in the laravel so in your project also if you have similar kind of situation and if you want to forward the call to a different object then you can just use this forwards calls straight